So this question is a diagram question, right? Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. More specifically, this is a graph question. So whenever I have a graph question, I pay very close attention to the ordered pairs or the points that are provided. There are no points on here, but I can find some because this line is, you know, it goes straight through these intersections here. So for instance, I have 1 comma 7 and 2 comma 14, right, and so on and so forth. So let's just read the question to see exactly what we're looking to find based upon this graph. So the question says the line in the xy plane above represents the relationship between the height h of x. So here's our, so h of x, f of x is always a y value. So here's our height is the y axis and the base diameter x in feet. So this is our diameter, base diameter is the x axis for cylindrical Doric columns in ancient Greek architecture. How much greater is the height of a Doric column that has a base diameter of 5? Let's figure out where, what is that. So our base diameter of 5 is here. The height that corresponds with that is up here. So that height is 35, right? So how much greater? So we have 35 here. How much greater is where am I? How much greater is the height of a Doric column that has a base diameter of 5, so that's 35, than the height of a Doric column that has a base diameter of 2? So if you have a base diameter of 2, you're at 14, so that's going to be 14. So how much greater is 35 than 14? Well, it's just 35 minus 14, which is 21. So our answer here must be choice C.